Hey everyone, and got another equipment autopsy. Um, I'm also going to uh, attempt to fix this thing since I've I just acquired it uh, fairly cheaply, I should say. But uh, it's um, it's seen better days. It was stored in like a, a cold barn, and you can see it's it's dirty. It's it's kind of mucky, um, and it's it's heavy. It's it's really heavy. Not much to see on the outside other than dirt and grime. And when you see on the bottom, it's model number YLG43, 120 volts, 60 hertz. Or, uh, yeah, 60 hertz, also 60 watts. Made by RCA Victor Company. I I haven't uh, tried to do anything with it yet, but uh, I know it does need to be fixed up. I'm just trying to open this here. There, geez, even the even the hinge did need some oiling. I mean, it's the inside. It's in pretty good shape. Solid state. Um, I have I have had it plugged in. the The motor does run, so that's good. But uh, everything is like really, really hard to turn. This thing really needs some uh, TLC. So you got channel one, channel two. Um, so you got your volume there, your tone there. Oh, wait, there's two volume and two tones. That's interesting. I never noticed that the first time I had a quick look at it. Um, you got pause. Uh, I don't know if you push down on it or what. Uh, it's three speeds. Um, I had difficulty with the actual buttons. Uh, they don't. Some of them don't go very well. Like that's that was really hard to push. The play one, I had to. I was able to push the play one down once, and I, I have not been able to push it down again. So this thing really does need some TLC, um, and I'll just plug it in here. So, so when you try and fast forward, you can hear it. So I think the camera can hear it, and you can see it. It wants to go, but uh, yeah, it's not very good. And rewind. Rewind doesn't even do anything. Nothing at all. Oh, now it wants to. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'll just take these off for now. If I can. Ah, great. Now it's stuck down in there. Well, that's no big deal. I can get that when I take the top off. Um, so, like I say, I've not opened this set up at all. Uh, I can't even get it to play yet. I can't really get it to move. So, um, I'll uh, take some screws out, figure out how this opens, and uh, give you all a look inside. Alright, I managed to figure out how to take it apart. It's a little different than now the other ones. Um, the whole assembly comes out of its own box. So you've got you you've got dual speakers and one on each side, and uh, I kind of forgot to mention in the first part of the video that this thing comes with um, this piece here, as well as a microphone, which I thought was pretty cool. It was housed in the uh, the cord compartment in the back there. So yeah, you got your wooden frame, and you've got um, the rest of it. 
there's your motor. Got a little cooling fan on it. You got left and right speaker outputs. Uh, all solid state, no vacuum tubes or anything like that in this one. And a little uh, fuse right there. Looks all right. Um, I want to get the front off it because that's where all the moving bits are. So uh, there's not too much to see until I get that part off. So uh, just bear with me a moment while I remove that front and uh, so let's see what's underneath. See what's actually wrong with it. All right. Well, so I got the cover off with uh, very little difficulty. Um, it's actually pretty clean on the inside here. And uh, so here's what we got. Now, one thing that I've found out with these, or just uh, in the past uh, experience with these solder uh, things, um, that the uh, rubber belts would turn to a, just a black sludge, and it was a pain in the ass to clean up. Unfortunately, for this one, there's only two belts, and neither of them have turned to a sludge. And actually, even even the pinch roller. It's still got a lot of flex and I can actually squeeze this. It's, it's the rubber hasn't turned rock hard. So that's a good start with uh, this guy here. So um, so let me just power it up and just see what's going on here. What's what's working? What's not? One well okay. So one thing one thing I did notice. I turn I did turn this here, and to look just to see if that would turn and nothing. Now it's the belt's not tight, but it's not loose either. So I tried turning this, and yeah, it's really hard to turn. It does turn. I don't know if you can see that, but it uh, definitely needs some oil. So that's uh, one thing I need to fix up right there. I think this whole thing just needs a serious dose of oil injection right into its vein. <laughs> All right, so this should be fast forward. Oh, and the machine just turned off. Oh, that's interesting. What's going on here? Oh, there's a. I see. I see a switch down there. Okay. Um, hold on one moment. Um, I just need to find something I can. I, I think it's this here. Let me see if I can um let me see if I can stop that from uh from moving down. There we go. Easy fix. So that's barely So you see how this part works? This here is on it can freely move on two axes. So like this and back and forth. This is your motor shaft. That's what's giving everything power right there. So your motor's underneath. So it feels like this rubber. It feels like this rubber has. Yeah. This rubber has become very hard on the outer edge. So that's that's your problem. Now that can be overcome by either replacing the rubber, which is nearly impossible to do. You'll never find this piece anywhere, or you might get lucky, or um, put a slightly stronger spring to give more uh, to get more traction on the uh, on the roller there. So that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably there's your spring right down there. So I'll probably uh, change it out for a slightly stronger one. Let's see if I put that on there. See if I stop it by hand. Just see, it barely goes as it is. But if I push, so I'm stopping it, and I'm now I'm pushing on the arm that actually puts tension on it, and it's much harder to stop. And it doesn't make it any louder either. So that's that's an easy fix. Old ah. oh, grease. Now the rewind one didn't really do much of anything, so let's see. So this should be rewind. Okay. 
So stop. So it looks like this. It looks like this thing here. This rubber on this. It looks like it's supposed to move over and hit the top of this. If you watch when I do this, try to hold the camera as still as I can because there's not much movement. You can see it does move a little bit. I bet you. Yeah, that's actually got good tension on it, so there's nothing wrong with the rubber on that one. It's just the mechanism is all gummed up. Oh wow, look at the look at the stretch in that belt after it was there. That's not even, it's bowed out. I'll have to replace that. Fortunately, I've got a lot of belts I've clicked over the years. That's not an issue, but... Uh, yeah. That belt's really loose. Now, I couldn't even get it... I can't even get it to play. Yeah. Um, Alright, so uh, what I'll do is I'll... Uh, I'll re-oil everything. I'll try and clean it up a little bit. Re-oil re -oil everything, replace this belt, and... Uh, I'll try it again. Alright, so it took some time to... Uh, go through everything, get it all cleaned up. It is the same day, just uh, much later in the evening now. And, um, well, I'll just uh, show you what how uh, far I've actually gotten. Um, so I did, I did replace that belt that was stretched there. It's a nice blue one here. It's got a good amount of tension. Didn't have to replace the red one. I did free that up, so that turns very easily now. And um, the reason it wouldn't play at all is this bar down here. It's meant to slide. Uh, I don't know if I can do it there. It's, it's meant to slide like that. It was stuck over in this position, which if you look right where the play is, right down there, it actually was stopping that from moving over. So, it was like that. So essentially the bar for the play was hitting the, the spot out there. It's hard to see, but you get the idea. But it was just, it was just all gummed up. I had to oil it, and now everything moves very free. So you got your play. Yeah, fast forward. And you've got your rewind. You see that that's now um, that's now moving very free. It's not sticking anymore. So that's your rewind. Not hard to do. Just um, just tedious. I've oiled pretty much everything I can find that's moving. So now I've got a. This was on it when I got it. See if I can hook it up here. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. This, yeah. So someone recorded Beach Boys onto this. Remove the Kleenex so it'll run normally. Turn my volume up. my speed up. Now I can't play this very long. I don't want to get demonetized here. But you can see it's working and it's working good. You get your fast forward. It's actually very quiet fast forwarding. I don't know if the camera's picking anything up but even I can barely hear it. And you've you got your stop. Brakes were good. You got your rewind. Little squeal on the belt as it gets going, but goes pretty good. Your little timers go in there. Your little counter, and it works good like that. So 
this, so someone actually recorded this at where they were, the Beach Boys were playing at the time. So this is a live recording. Now I haven't tried recording with this. Um, I suppose I could. Just uh, give me a moment here to figure out which one. Uh, Mike should be this guy, one here. So I'll try doing a little recording while I'm just talking into the into my camera here. So now this has a channel one and channel two recording. I don't know if I need both or not, but so this should actually be recording. At least I think, although I don't see, well, actually, that level meter is going up. Not on the second one, but there, if you look at here, I've got it plugged into this one here, mic for channel one. Obviously, you can have a mic in channel two. I wonder how that works. I wonder why, you, if you need two mics to get both channels. Not a the best way of doing it but whatever all right so that's been recorded long enough let me stop back it up and see if it's actually uh, recorded anything all right moment of truth this I've not tried this before this is the first time oh I hear it not a, the best way of doing it but whatever all right, so that's been recorded long enough. Let me stop, back it up, and see if it's actually uh, recorded anything. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, so it did. It did actually record my voice. Not, not the best quality, but I mean, well, I don't think that's a very good quality mic to begin with. But uh, yeah, it works. It all works now. So uh, yeah, this is a successful restoration of a. Uh, Radio Corporation of America, a real to real player. Uh, so if you like the video, hit your thumbs up if you find it interesting and all that. I thought it was. I like this old stuff. If you didn't like it, uh, thumbs down. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. And um, thanks for watching, everyone.